All right. Welcome to the 80 Star Basketball Channel, or welcome back, rather. Uh, this is Kevin again with this week's auction report, and God, did we have a lot. Got a lot going on, a lot to look forward to. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into it. All right, so uh, you had a PSA 8 1985 star crunch. Again, PSA 8 um, ending at 57.20 uh, last night. Recent comps on this was about right. Looks like the last one was buy it now for about six grand. And this one ended just a couple hundred dollars less than that, which is kind of normal. Usually you're gonna, if you do a buy now, it's going to be a few hundred dollars, probably more than what you might get at an auction, but still looks like it's averaging about the same. Um, all right, so here was the uh, BGS7 that ended um, last week on the 17th. Um, so uh, kind of showing some things are softening lately. So it was a BGS7, a uh, good sub BGS7, um, but, you know, not the best centering at all. But still uh, a decent 101 finishing at around 22 grand uh, was newsworthy at least. So, uh, again, we saw that, and here was some of the recent comps for that. That one was... 22.7, and then before that, you had 34, 33, 29. Um, so, but again, I'll preface with that one. Next up, uh, we had a big one. We had BGS 8.5 ending at Fanatics uh, on Sunday, finished at 50,400. Um, this was one that had the corners of 9.5, good centering, good edges. However, surface, it did have the, as mentioned before, some of the I guess specs all over the bottom and on the top. Again, an 8.5 ending at 50 grand. That is quite a bit lower than recent comps for that one. Actually, this exact same card sold twice over the last couple months. Uh, it first appeared at REA um, in August, went for about 53. And then on PWCC, the same one sold as a fixed sale for 63,000. And then more than a month later, auctioned off at only 50. So yeah, uh, from what I've noticed, BGS prices are definitely softening. PSA is still hanging in there. Um, but I do think eventually the BGS keeps kind of dropping. If there becomes more separation between the grades, um, between the between the comps, I imagine it'll start pulling some of the PSA values down a little bit. But yeah, that's just a guess. That's obviously, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. So, anywho, on to the next one. Uh, so, again, we had the BGS 8.5 and it finished at 50. Um, the biggest sale was this right here, the Robert Edwards auction that also ended on, I'm sorry, that ended on the 20th, um, so a couple of days ago, for $93,000 for a PSA 7.5. And remember, the comps on just normal PSA 7s, are around right now for PSA is averaging around like 50 to 52, uh, 48 to 52 actually rather, but 50 is the average. And this one uh, went for about $43,000 more. Now again, it's got low pop. So if you think about it, there's what, like a, it's like at least 100, 103, 110 PSA sevens right now. So, and only 11 to 14 or so 7.5s. Then you've only got about um, I think 32, 33 PSA 8s, if you include some of the ones from the old pop report, and three PSA 9s. So, again, this is a pretty pretty good looking 7.5. Um, went for more than expected. I kind of thought it would go for 80, but 93. And again, we don't really need to look at the comps, but uh, for whatever reason, they've got it listed twice here at 93, but the last one was um, over a year ago, finished it. 24,600 when PSA 7s at the time were going for around 1820. All right, so next up, uh, we got the PSA 7. PSA 7 ended on eBay. And this one did better than I would have thought at 48,000, about 49, 49 grand. Um, so, I mean, again, the centering for PSA 7 leaves a lot to be desired. This is tip, not typical centering for the 101s on PSA 7. So, I mean, it had good corners and edges, things like that. But um, this was probably a lower end seven. But still, it, it did 48.8, which was really good, actually, considering. Um, still a 
good looking copy, just uh, probably not many people's favorite just due to the centering. All right, so next up, oh yeah, these were the comps on the PSA 7 again, you know, 51.7, and then you had the 51.800 and this one for 48,000. I still think if another one came up like today, it'd probably still go for around like 50 at least. All right, next up, uh, this was one that surprised me a lot lower than expected, the BGS 7.5. Um, this was a good looking one. It's got corners of eight, but I mean, they don't look too bad. Well, you got a little spots there, but I mean, that's a nice looking 7.5. Yeah, back looks good. And so this only went for 30, about $30,000. And if you look at the comps on this, and this used to trend back early in the year. Usually a 7.5 would always go for about 15, maybe a really nice one, maybe 18 with killer subs, but um, really 15 to 18, 20 max usually, 20K max. And then we just went up to 25, about 45, 50K, 46K during the peak and has trended back down to uh, that one paid. This one right here was about 34,000. And then now this one, which this one is actually a better copy than the, one in gold and that ended at 34 and this one ended right around 30. So yeah, 30,050. It's wild. Really would have thought that would have went for more. Next up, uh, this one actually went for lower than expected too. The uh, BGS 7.5 1985 star 195. And this one, good, good subs, sharp looking card. I mean, kind of looks like the 7.5 to me. And I'll show you interesting about that is if you look at the comps here, this one for 7,300, 5,200. Now this, the 5,200 one was not that nice. Actually, I mean, the 5,200 one had like seven, 7.5 corners, seven centering. So worse than this copy. That one went for 5,200 and then a little bit better one came up and that went for 73. And then this one just finished at 4,800, which was very surprising. Next up, you got a, um, the Gatorade, which is still doing well. BGS 8.5, good sub, centering 8, 9, 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface. Uh, that went for almost 2,500. So we got the comps on that. Oh, down a little, um, 3,400, 3,000 for buy now auctions was 2760, 2700. And this one was 2425. So a couple hundred dollars less. BGS 9, 1985, 86, second year, Star Jordan 117. This one actually was auctioned off recently, a couple weeks ago. And it went for about the same. I think it was like right under three thousand. And then so I guess it didn't get paid, so it got relisted and finished at three thousand fifty. Look at the comps here. That looks like you know it went from August the height of six thousand to four thousand to thirty seven fifty. And then a recently uh, a nice quad nine just came out for about thirty five hundred last week. And then this one, which is a uh, eight point five nine nine nine. Um, went for 3000 So, yeah, so I think the BGS 9 copies of the 117, uh, you know, low and maybe 3K, upwards to 35, 3800, depending on uh, the subs on it. Then you got an 8.5 that also sold, um, went for, yeah, it's not much price difference, 2873, and this one went for 2506. Propocene. Propocene usually goes for a little bit more. Um, so we have the comps on that. Say so 8.5. See, so yeah, I went from 3,300, 2, A little bit lower. This one for 2,505. All right, we also had a um, 1984 star. Uh, Court Kings, number 26, Michael Jordan, 5x7. This one finished, uh, this was a pretty, what is it, corners, 9.5, so yeah, 9.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 8.5 edges, 8.5 surface, so a 
pretty good 8.5 copy there. Um, went for 10,600 comps on that recently. I'm looking at the last, so this one would be 10,600. Then you got the one before it at 9,300 and then one for 11,300. So kind of average it out. Looks like these are going for about 10 grand. All right. So that was it for the auctions. Um, regarding the 101s, we've got a few more coming out recently and I'm keeping my eye on the next, uh, there's a BGS eight, uh, right here that is at golden should it be a couple more days. So it's already at around 20,000 right now. So if that 7.5 went for 30, we'll see what this does. I would guess no higher than 35, but many times I am wrong. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see. It'd be really interesting. It actually goes for less or about the same as the BGS 7.5. But uh, golden usually things do pretty well on golden. So who knows? That could go for 35 to 40 for all we know. Um, what else? So these are the ones I'm watching. We can just kind of take a peek through this. Got the 101 here at golden in a couple days. You got the PSA 7s. So you got the Court Kings, Light All Star, Crunch and Munch. Coming up, you got a BGS 8 288 there. Kind of interesting to see how that one does. Pretty decent, pretty good looking copy. Um, and the last couple at auction went for 11,000. And then somebody had a best offer, 16,001. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll let go for. 10, 11, or will it go for higher? We'll see, we shall find out soon. Oh, I will say with the disclaimer here, this one here, the 288, you got a PSA 5 and PSA 6, um, 195. These are coming from Slab Sharks on eBay, which is, I believe it's, uh, this is a, these are coming from Canada. <clears throat> I've never used Slab Sharks before, but I don't know if that'll hurt any comp sales if it's coming from another country versus somewhere in the U.S. on eBay. So we'll see how those do. Might be a good deal you might get. All right. And um, another big one we're watching on Probstein, uh, BGS7, currently at around almost $20,000, four days left, 6.5, 8.5, a good looking copy there. Oh, this one's cool. Not the best photo, but you got a BGS9 group photo here on eBay auction. It doesn't come up very often in BGS9. You got a BGS9 Slam Dunk Super, 8.5 Gatorade, Pro Stats, 8.5 Light, some more 117s. 9.5 best of the best, PSA 7, 195, BG, nice looking BGS 8 crunch. Another PSA 6, 195, PSA 7 all rookies. And the ones from Golden, these are all the ones from Golden ending soon. Uh, we talked about them on last week's where we previewed them, but um, but some we got some killers in here. Yeah, look at that, 9.5, 9.5, auto. 9.5s, more 9.5s. Oh, yeah, and then we've got the 101 with BGS 5.5 auto. Also got the PSA 6 101. Very interested to see how that does. I mean, if you think about it, you got a BGS. The last couple of PSA 6s did 33 and 34, respectively, and you just had a BGS 7.5. That just finished at 30. And... I'd, I'd say a BGS 7.5 and a PSA 6 are a lot of the times pretty equally, pretty equal to each other. So I would expect maybe this this to go for around 30, but it could go for less. It could go for more. Uh, you never know. It is PSA and it is a full size PSA 6, which is nice. And these don't, don't come up as often as you would think of the BGS 9, Charles Barkley rookie from 1984 star number 202. That'll be a good one to keep watching. You got another BGS 8 at Golden, 9.5. And this one just came up recently. 
for Golden, got the BGS 8.5 with the 10 auto. I do prefer the thinner pin, so this auto to me is very nice. So I'll be watching that. And then I thought I'd show you what's coming up at Heritage, because Heritage usually, I always forget to check Heritage and some of the other ones, but they do have, go back here. Yeah. So these are the ones currently, now let me go to current auctions. Current auctions, uh, they've got another four more days. They've got a BGS 6 star 101. And that actually ends in four days. I got to keep track of that. Current bid is only at around 10K right now. So the BGS 7.5, 195. So remember the last one just did, what was it? About 4,000 4, we just looked at. So this one's still under that. Still got some time there be just 8.5 light and this is cool um got the 83 star larry bird and it has got a 10 auto it's not graded on the actual card though the card looks like a probably a six maybe a seven currently only around 300 and we've got coming up mid-november to heritage you got a psa 6 288 you know, 195 PSA 5. I do have a PSA 7 one on one coming out. And I'll show you this one. This is one of two PSA 7s that actually has a little corner nick to it. Um, I, I keep track of all the PSA 6s, 7s, and 8s, or 9s. Anything that comes up publicly, I like to save an image of it. So I have a ton of them. So I look through them to see how PSA grades them. And like I said, PSA is very consistent for the most part. Uh, more so than BGS, in my opinion. But like here, got that one corner there. So I'd be surprised if that does. Not sure how that's going to do. So we're going to see. That'll be interesting to see what that goes for. And then I think last year, what was there? One more. All right, and then a BGS 9.5, best of the new. So lots to look forward to. Um, I will check in next week, let you know how those one on one sales finished at and a few of the other ones. Um, see where we're at, maybe give my theory on how things are going to look into the near future. Again, just a theory, just a guess. So look out for that. Um, until next time, everybody. All right.